Hi, I'm Toby Hodges. We're at the International Multi Hole Show in La Grande Motte, and there's always one that really excites me here this year Speed, the Rapido 40. Not a brand new boat or not a brand new model, but this is the second one they've built. And if you recognize the name, you've probably, um, probably seen Riley and Elena's Sailing La Vagabond sensation that they've signed up for one. They've, in fact, this summer, their 60 will launch. And this is the baby of the range, the 40. They're all designed by Morelli and Melvin. And they are, they strip fast multi-hull sailing, cruising back to what it should be. Just, you know, really keep it simple and light. So this is an all carbon machine lightweight displacement 5.2 tons and you can see the power to beam ratio a little bit there as well i mean it's a weapon isn't it For example, that rotating wing mast, obviously all in carbon, but you noticed nice and simple, no spreaders on it at all. And yeah, these are, they're expensive, complicated machines. By that, complicated to build because these arms, the floats, they, they fold in. Uh, to reduce your beam if you need to. In this case, it was a bit of a prototype one. Uh, they did, this is I said number two of the 40, and uh, in order to do that, it takes about 20 minutes, they reckon, to bring these floats in. And you can see the bolts here for them. Uh, but to do it, you need to take the tension off the force day. Once that's done, you can bring them in, you, you put a line down onto that outside bolt and again aft and then you can you can bring them in but the plan is to put a, a, a small mast step on the next ones going forward so you don't have to take that the pressure off the force stay itself anyway let's have a quick look around this in terms of speed uh, this one has just come from Greece so it's done four thousand miles of upwind sailing apparently so far not what you'd choose to do but good shakedown for the boat up forward here you can see just how chunky that bowsprit is quite reassuring really with your bow roller on there but you know real loads going into here for your tack points or your furling sails uh, you have the anchor locker under here good solid pulpit area uh, and the, it's a really the central section of the boat I know it's a trimaran I know it's never going to be as spacious as others but uh, you see how the ha the hull shape flares up so well here that you want I'll show you from the floats how this is rounded but it's a really generous voluminous bow shape for what that buys in terms of internal space is uh, is a good size forward cabin got a self tacking furling jib on this uh, see how nice and low the boom is maximize the sail area nice little yeah, wishbone style, boom. And yeah, just keep it relatively stripped. C-shaped foil, so these C-shaped dagger boards on this give plenty of lift. On the 50 and the 60, uh, they have a center board. So in the, in the middle of the interior, you have a center board which lifts up, but they now offer on the 50, uh, these C-shaped dagger boards on each side. So you can have a center board or you can have the dagger boards uh, with twin rudders or a single rudder on this one. Or you could have a center board and twin uh, dagger boards, which someone's gone for. And then the 60 has a central center board. Out in the floats, you obviously want to keep the weight out of here if you can. So this is the dinghy on this one. I don't know if you can see it all right through the netting, but it's, it's a little inflatable zap cap basically. Uh, so speedy little, very lightweight, fully inflatable dinghy uh, and then in here, so that will just deflate and go in here when you're on passage and there's a shelf with a good bracket on it for mounting your outboard. Useful um, rail there for hanging your warps, spare sheets, 
uh, and plenty of stowage room in there. You can see that that's a watertight bulkhead forward there and aft. So you have very, you know, they are stringent about safety. You've got a crash box in the bows there. You, you've got watertight compartment forward here to the watertight bulkhead. Um, there's a watertight compartment each side of the engine bay, which is in the center of the boat. And there's a watertight bulkhead aft as well. Stiff, solid, safe. Big solar panels on the aft. And then you come in to the cockpit area. So if you obviously if you put in the dinghy and the engine and that outboard float, maybe you put the spare sails in the other float to balance it a bit. Well, we're up here, you see the amount of uh, opening hatches there are. You'll, the ventilation going through here is brilliant. Um, good natural light as well. Big windows in here. And I'll show you the pictures of the excess version they've got for the 50 and 60, which brings that coach roof out further, gives you more coach roof space. Cockpit, just simple really. I've got these big bench seats here because that's, this is what it's all about, sitting here, tiller extension to hand. Uh, look at that. Imagine doing 20 plus knots sitting here on a 40 footer, fantastic. Nice deep cockpit, cockpit well, and it's a protected area down here as well. So you can sit with the spray hood up um, or be under here for controlling. Just stand up here to see over the coach roof. And you've just got a traveler back there with the, with the tiller bar running underneath it. Uh, and that's just on cam cleat for the traveler. Main sheet to a winch each side there. And you get your four sail sheets on the forward winches. good sized cockpit sitting around in here and then you're into the interior very light good natural light through here and I think for a trimaran not bad volume really anyway kept simple so standing nav station area here which also has the entrance into a sort of crawling entrance into this aft cabin big double area there i think it could be split into two singles if you wanted to this one has that you can see you've got aft access when you lift that as well um, from the cockpit area easier to get down into there uh, but this has this quarter berth in here as well underneath that port side cockpit bench really nice pilot berth in there washboard stowage and a good size saloon with a telescopic table there to fill that in as a bed and then you've got your two fridges here drawer fridges uh, and a nice long longitudinal style galley bit of stowage back there and then drawers forward the engine room below the the galleon saloon floor here so that lifts on a gas strut and then watertight bulkhead there plenty of room further aft so they've got a hot water tank in there starter battery and just the uh the, yeah the shaft there for the for the inboard can also access that from this locker here as well from where you can see fresh water pump and the water tank so there's 200 liters of water and 200 for fuel I believe and then behind this Ford saloon cushion is access to the water maker let's pull that cushion out of the way so all of the all of the structures but it's all carbon foam sandwich it's all made but in the yard so that's the spectra water maker behind there and if i can pull that out there we go see that on the bulkhead and you can see the bare carbon of that main bulkhead and again on the hull sides as well
So it's all about safety of construction. There's no penetrations below the waterline. So it's uh, all focused on building a rigid, safe structure. Two steps down, nice cork flooring as well. Durable. Down into the forward cabin and heads area. What you can't feel here is the ventilation coming through, opening ports all the way through here. Really good flow of natural air coming through. There's the escape hatch in there, dry out your shower room nice and quickly, and a heads area. Simple hanging stowage there for your wet weather gear or, or your clothes if you want it, I guess. And then your headroom reduces to about 5 511 in here. Um, but still standing headroom, if you see, notice the curve of that foredeck, that's what helped buys it in here. all this carbon is not going to come cheap so this starts at 695,000 US so fully equipped probably looking around 800,000 which is a lot for a 40 footer but the fun will be in sailing one of these I haven't this will stay in Europe hopefully around Barcelona this year so I hope I'll get the chance anyway hope you enjoyed the quick tour and let's hope we get to have a sail.